Hey guys, this is Marshall from the, uh, in the, <laughs> sorry, sorry, this is Marshall, and we are back today in Medieval War 2, T Medieval 2, Total War, <laughs> sorry, a uh, bit in a tongue twisty mood today, at the English campaign. Um, just a few things that happened, uh, I accidentally brought this thing up so it's kind of hard to see but over here our ships are over here because they were attacked and we lost unfortunately that's not very good another bad thing is France has now been declared the strongest faction militarily which spells very bad news for our country as the France France is one of our sworn enemies and we're bordering with them so you know uh, but we're just gonna auto resolve this as it seems we have the upper hand and let's exterminate them. I am tired of... I, I am still grieving in my son Robert's death and I am not in the mood to... to, uh... uh lightheartedness. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Um, also, we're still in debt. Hopefully that will change now that we've taken another castle. Um, we're going to soon have to uh, swallow up Scotland or go to war with them or else we are going to find ourselves in trouble. Uh, and then as far as... Nothing there. Okay, so um, basically let's end this turn off. Oh wait, diplomat. Sorry. We have our diplomat here. We're going to keep keep him on chugging to Milan to do some business with the Milanese and our merchant is nowhere to be found did he die what happened is he dead oh no he's right there okay he is going to trade textiles for four flor florins let's go over here five florins ooh big money okay well uh, he'll just build up his uh, his finance financing skills and we might be able to actually use them a little better later on uh, they merchants are quite useful if you can get them ranked up and if you put them really far away like in the Middle East or Africa or this or uh, Russia uh, if you can put them really far away then they can make you a lot of money especially at higher levels but he's a level he only has one skill in finance and he's not that far away so we're going to continue our priest as our little unofficial spy, sending him to Scotland. And let's end this turn. It is going to be 1090, which means it will be 10 years since the start of the English campaign. And I'd say we've made a good amount of... Okay, we have a bride presented to our son Henry. And her name is Solua. Higgins, a young woman of fitting breeding and station, has been discovered as a potential partner for this man. Yes, fine. Uh, women don't really matter. No, I mean, sorry. I don't mean it like that. I just mean in this game, they, their stats mean nothing. It's just, I guess, if you didn't like the name or you didn't want him to get married for whatever reason. Ah, shit. So, our merchant's assets have been seized, which sucks because now he's destitute. We probably should have had him trading a little closer to... Yeah, we probably should have had him trading a little closer to home so that he could have uh, gotten some stuff done. So we're going to deal some stuff with Milan. Let's do some trade rights and an alliance and map information. And then we will take a single payment of 800 florins. Okay, we will take a single payment of a thousand florins yes okay so we just got a little bonus out of that deal and we're going to continue him on his path to trade with everyone in the world which is very nice okay so made some money that's good we have a daughter named Christina that's a very pretty name uh, or a granddaughter or some sort of sub faction. Uh, we have many leather tanners. I went crazy with the leather tanners and Carnarvon, which is the name I cannot pronounce. Carnarvon? Carnarvon. Whatever. Um, I'm trying to say it wrong. Uh, and then we have in Carnarvon, we have Welsh spearmen, which have been retrained. And marriage celebrations with Henry and Salua, which is a weird name. 
And an alliance has been announced. Good news. And 500 florins from our ever gracious Council of Lords. Council of Nobles, which seem to have endless amounts of estate to donate to our campaign, as it seems. Let's retrain some troops down here, because that will help us uh, at least hold our territories against these French dogs. And, oh, and I might be, okay, real quick notice here. I'll probably be talking badly towards certain uh, ethnicities, and it is purely game-related. I have no, uh, nothing against any sort of ethnicity whatsoever. That is a promise. Um, if I'm just going to attack, why not? Yeah, we lost. Okay, that was a bad idea. We probably shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I have no problem with any sort of ethnicity of any type, but to keep the game accurate, we're going to be pissed at other countries, and that's just what you do. You get racist. Um, I'm not going to get really racist. I'm just going to say things like dogs and knaves and swashbuckling brigadiers and uh, other such ways of insulting. Uh, let's build a... Oh, we can't build a castle yet. Let's wait to build a castle. I'm going to build a castle. And, well, no. Before we build a castle, let's build some roads and a land clearance. Because, honestly, a small chapel. This place is kind of run down. Um... We do not have a ton of money to recruit units, but I will try nonetheless, as our, this war with Scotland is about to brew up, I can feel it. Our, our priest hasn't brought back information quite yet, but I have a feeling they will have many troops waiting to butcher us and such. Uh, our bishop's doing good, the Lord's work here in Carnarvon, <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pronounce it worse every time I, I say it now. It's just going to degrade slowly over this playthrough um <clears throat> by the way this is the uh wait oh shit okay yeah let's end this turn there is no reason to continue oh we have a spanish princess walking through how very nice perhaps we can marry him oh okay new mission uh council of nobles our great nation appears weak to tolerate such insolence from rebels they want us to take dublin Okay, and we'll receive 2,500 florins. This means we have to go through enemy territory, which kind of sucks. Um, if we can get ships back in time, we wouldn't have to, but I don't know if I trust this fleet. Um, we'll try to get ships back in time, but we'll all recruit a, a small fleet. But I have a feeling it's not happening. <laughs> End of turn report. Lost money. And Hugh Talbot. Another heir from uh, Cecilia. And we have troops reporting for duty. And let us see. In London, nothing's going on there. In Khan, we need to... Shit, no. Rene. Rene, Rene, Rene. Um, for now, just keep everything building and uh, producing our infrastructure, building it up. Because otherwise... Uh, you know, if we're not building it up, what are we doing? Oh, well, let's send our little spy forth. Oh. Seems rather unprotected. Huh. Now, I would say we could just slip through and take Edinburgh, but then these troops will just turn into rebels, and they'll still be a threat regardless. So we'll have to get take them out one way or another, but it's interesting that he's just sort of hiding there. Um, let's send some of our troops. Uh, my... Uh, ha, the king is, is, is getting old, and he's he's not as, as war-torn as he once was, or whatever. Um, so, we want uh, to send our his son-in-law to prove himself in battle. Uh, another quite older gentleman, but still, his loyalty is unquestioning, and he, he he's not the most commanding officer, but he, he will get the job done, and uh, it's mainly to prove himself to his, to his father-in-law. Uh, so he is going to lead a troop, a throng, if you will, of horses and, uh, soldiers out of this fair city. And, uh, King, King William will keep, uh, a couple troops of infantry to hold down the fort. Um, I believe this, this episode is over. Thank you for watching. My name is Marshall, and please have a goofy, delicious day. And we'll see you next time on Medieval 2 Total War The English Campaign.